Here is a key fact about how the eyes receive visual information. The nasal retina in each eye sees objects in the corresponding temporal hemifield. The temporal retina in each eye sees objects in the corresponding nasal hemifield. Within the optic chiasm, the axons coming from temporal retina stay on the same side and enter the ipsilateral optic tract. The axons coming from nasal retina cross to enter the contralateral optic tract. The result of this rerouting is that visual information reaching the retrochiasmal portion of the retinocortical segment has been sorted into left and right hemifields. In other words, visual information from the right hemifield is carried to the left cerebral hemisphere and visual information from the left visual hemifield is carried to the right cerebral hemisphere. Three patterns of visual field loss occur with lesions in the region of the optic chiasm. Damage to the optic nerve as it approaches the optic chiasm causes a unilateral temporal hemianopia in the ipsilateral eye. This phenomenon occurs because the nasal crossing axons coming from the eye on the side of the lesion are especially vulnerable. Often the eye with the temporal hemianopia also has a nerve fiber bundle defect. A second kind of visual field defect occurs from damage to the optic nerve as it gets even closer to the optic chiasm. The lesion disturbs not only nerve fiber bundles on the side of the lesion, but also the nasal crossing fibers coming from the opposite eye. As a result, there will be a nerve fiber bundle defect in the visual field of the ipsilateral eye and a temporal hemianopic defect in the visual field of the contralateral eye. This combination of defects is sometimes called an optic nerve optic chiasm junction defect. A lesion that affects the optic chiasm itself, whether intrinsically or extrinsically, primarily damages its crossing fibers that originate in the nasal retina of both eyes. For that reason, a lesion here causes a bitemporal hemianopia. These three types of chiasmal visual field defects, unilateral temporal hemianopia, junctional defect, and bitemporal hemianopia, are most often caused by mass lesions, which are tumors, cysts, and aneurysms. Once the optic pathway has passed through the optic chiasm to enter the optic tract, the pattern of visual field defects changes again. Hemianopic defects will now be present in both eyes, and they will be homonymous, that is, on the same side of visual space in both eyes. Such defects are called homonymous hemianopias. They will be reviewed with the retrochiasmal portion of the vision pathway in part five.